Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Winkle J The Little Shop. We've got a lot going on right now, a lot of planning to do if we're going to have our outdoor eatery just looking absolutely smashing. So we've got, I did a little reorganizing. We've got all our grains over here for now, potatoes, and then green beans right here in the little guys, which will probably phase out soon. And then over here, I did organize this a little bit. We got arties, we got collies, we got greenies, and we got some assies over here. And then a little mixy poo going on that'll get fixed once that's all harvested up. And other than that, we have a ton of leather, but no cloth, wool, or any of that good stuff. So we don't really have anything decent to start our day with that we need to craft. So this is just telling me I have these to unlock as usual. I'm ignoring them because screw them. And you can see here we've got our two mythic ladies. Let's just make sure their salaries are nice and topped off. Beautiful. Keep our ladies happy. Let's open the day. Uh, 641. Yeah, I'll pay now. <laughs> Plenty of cash to go around. So we're on the second to last day of autumn. Oh, nope. Never mind. Sorry. This is the last day of autumn. Uh, stores open for twice as long. That's kind of a shitty thing for us because we need product. And I'm low on tunics, hats, pants, cloaks, and sundresses because we don't have wool, nor do we have fabrics. That's kind of what we're hurting on right now. But the Amazon warehouse, is, uh, it's looking pretty empty back there. Pretty bare. So what we need to have happen here is a fantastic couple sellers come in couple peddlers couple peddlers daughters you know like this guy oh perfect couldn't have asked for a better tailor right here let's see if he has the good stuff i've reached level 25 we get a crafting skill point that's cute so nothing really happening much in here i'm gonna buy those hats even though they're a little expensive but i'll still make profit um linen i'm gonna buy all of it can I type? No, can't. Why is time not slowing down? Um, I'll buy these shirts. I don't care about the shoes. I'll buy the silk. I'll buy the wood. I'll just buy like 40 wood. That's good enough for me. Buy the legendary wood, because why not? And that's pretty decent. All right, buy that out. Low on hats. There we go. It's a good thing I bought some more hats. I wish I could have bought some pants, but I do have fabric so I can sneak off into a little sweatshop over here and just kind of like you know, do that real quick and make like seven or so pants just to top us off. I'm not able to make the cloaks because Batman requires wool and we don't have any wool. So that's all right. We're out of sundresses though. So let's uh, just snag four of those real quick. See if that'll help us out. Hats are good. Everything else is kind of fine. Again, we're low on wool, so I can't make the tunics either. And I'm not going to bother with the shoes just yet. I'd rather not sit here in the crafting menus in slow-mo. It's pretty annoying, to say the least. So I'd rather not do it if I don't have to. It's kind of a last-ditch effort here. Uh, I'm going to help out the girls by making sure we're nice and topped off. Just because they were uh, getting cranky. So I've got two grand on me. What do we got? I got wool. I'm going to buy all the wool. Again, look, we've got 925 stock. And the reason we did that is because I literally want to stock up. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, no, but I'm, I'm absolutely dead serious. I want to have... I want to be able to buy out everything as long as I have the cash for it. I'm going to buy all these pants. And let's see, tunics. I will buy all of those just so I can have some more just in case this day goes a little long. Hell, I'm going to buy some more wood because I just said I want to buy everything. That's a good price for some legendary wool. And booties, nah, I don't really care. I've got a plenty. Leather's not the issue at the moment. If it's everything else, look at that. We've bought in so much shit, I still have 200 left. But look at that warehouse. Shock full. Oh, we didn't really need to worry about much days over good job ladies the girls did almost good enough for me to be impressed they did decent so i'm happy with them we need a third girl though all right we'll send you ladies home yep be safe out there okay 
All right, day ended, shop value plus 2198. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So the shop looks fantastic still. Let's top up though, because our wares are looking quite minimal. I gotta bring you back in. I was making our booties here. You can see I've got 56 of them right now. And I've unlocked, uh, what is it? It's level 70, which I think is the max. It's got to be the max. And you know what happened when I did unlock that besides us having amazing crafting results? Um, uh, look, check this out. Whoops, wrong one. Go into the decorations. Look at this. We got the clogs pedestal. There's some variants? No. Well, maybe. See, look, I'm going to put them right here. So 215 shekels for it. But we got a nice 355 appeal. Furniture type is unique. So that means we can only put that one in there. So that's actually really neat. I'm going to have to find a way to like incorporate that. I don't need this because my appeal is max. So I am just going to kind of bring this over here. Kind of get this as tight as possible. There we go. And I think I'm going to try to level up my shirts to do the same because those are pretty cool, honestly. I'm going to test this out to see if 70 was the max. I'm using up most of my wool. And it is. See, look, I've got the shirt pedestal now. And you can see that it's, it was no, it's completely capped out. And we've got 5, 16, and 79% respectively. So that's a really good deal. But also, let's check out this shirt pedestal. So let's come into here. Excuse you. Get rid of that. Buy. Decorations. Probably go to variants. Aha. Uh -huh. And then here is a shirt pedestal. That is pretty cool. We're going to have to unlock all of those. Look how fantastic that looks. Oh, baby. What do we got for commission here? Ooh, a thousand. Accepted. Make sure you deliver it. There we go. All right, let's water the crops and do a little cooking for the day to get those levels up as well. And then we can open the shop up. Another day, another dollar. Let's open the shop. Let it snow. Food is more expensive while clothes are cheaper. Fewer customers appear. So this may be a good time to trying to figure out how to start our food empire. I am saving our food now, as you can see. So that way when... Uh, I do decide to open it up. We just have food available. So that's also one of the main reasons we really got our Amazon warehouse fully functional was not only so we could be buying a crap ton of things, but we need all of this space so we can have a fully functioning dual style shop. Hey, because you, you saw I was cruising through 600 warehouse items with just by clothy air right god why is it so bright is this the what the hell settings holy shit let's turn that nonsense down okay it's really whitewashed it kind of looks ugly i i don't remember i honestly don't remember it looking this bad before the winter time during the beta or i should say early access not really the beta but look that was ugly all right, what do you got for us here? Uh, all right, cloaks are cheap. I'm getting to the point where now I can buy clogs and shirts because they're maxed out at 70, which is really freaking cool, honestly. Um, I'm going to buy all the leather. It's cheap. I'm going to buy these hats because I'm low on hats. And because I didn't have the linen to make more, I used the linen for a bunch of other different things. Um, the silk, I don't really need super expensive silk, so I'm going to ignore that. Tunics and trousers are pretty good, so I'm going to hold off. Again, the wood, I don't need to craft. Um, I could, but we're just kind of past that at the moment. I'm going to buy all of this wool. And I've got 54 clogs, so I mean, I should be able to hold off with just that for quite some time. Might have to round this out eventually this way. That's going to be super expensive. So, like, even though it's like, Shabby, why are you sitting on 2300? I'm telling you, 2300 will probably be, like, five floor plots. And I need to fill this area here. So, that's why I've got my blueberries here like this. 
This is a pathway. So I'm gonna build a pathway up here and line it with blueberries. So it kind of look like a wine vineyard, I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna slowly start either moving these or deleting them until I don't need the appeal anymore. I do have to check to see if at 25 I unlock the next level appeal though. All right, starting from the bottom this time, give me all of the wool. Uh, how's my silk? I only have 22. I'll buy 18. It's a little expensive, so I'm not going to go all out with it, but linen, I'll take all, all the linen, not that linen. I'll take all this though. Um, no, I will take it just because I need it. I need to craft. We got crafty boy things to do. Clogs, super cheap. But look at that. It's a profit of eight. Like, eh. I could literally make my own shit and it comes out so much better. Look at these turnstiles, though. Aren't those beautiful? I think that's a great little... Harmon, can you get out of my screenshot? Bam. Bam. One more bam. Bam. Harmon, I swear to God, you're going to get your ass kicked out of my shop. Keep the shit up. It's looking dark in here and dingy. Need to buy a lamp. So how much do these shoes sell for? These really good ones. Not those. Clogs. I'm looking for the clogs. These ones. So they're selling for 16. Wow, I can make like a profit of 14 on those right at this exact moment if I buy them for one each. That's pretty decent. All right, time to water, do the basic things. I wish we could have our shop workers do for us, honestly. This is kind of silly at this point. Um, I'm gonna wait just so all these are in line on the same day. Yeah, I'm anal like that. You wanna find out about it? I'm also going to delete these four plots now because I'm gonna just put them over here. So if we do this, let's go to the buying and selling of our land. Excuse you. This piece right here is so finicky, it's silly. Hold on, I can get it closer. Actually, let me go the opposite way here. Because I'm going to probably do the rest of these as potatoes because I need them anyways. So why don't we just start buying all that we need and fill in our little space here. That's good. That's good. And I honestly can fit this if we just move these all out of the way here real quick. Excuse you. I need you. And there. And then we can just figure out a way to put these back. Maybe not, honestly. No, probably not. That's okay, though. It's not a big deal to me if I have these. Maybe I just put that one there. Nah, that looks silly. Get rid of those. It's because they're just so... It's so tight. But look, it's perfect right now, right? Like, we kind of need this. So, that's beautiful. We're going to go bro Tato's all day. And I want to try and fill the rest of those up with Protato seeds as well. So we're going to buy some. Even if they're low quality trash, we're going to buy them. I like how sometimes it makes you water it before you can harvest them like that. Also, can you come over here and stop looking weird up there? And once those are done, we'll also delete that and move them out. Water these. I should have waited for this cauliflower for a day, so these were all in the same harvest timeline as well, but I messed up. Forgot what I was trying to do. Yeah, look at all that nice cauliflower. Beautiful. New cosmetic, the manly belt outfit. Whew. It's all that cauliflower farming. Faster farmer. We are, we're really cranking through some of our farming levels here, by the way. Absolutely kill him, but look at our stock already. This is why I wanted so much. When you're a farmer and making food, you need a lot of inventory space because these come up, you know, every how many days, right? You don't want to have to just throw it away or let it not harvest. Like, you want to cycle through this shit 24-7 because you want to make sure that you get the most out of your dollar and your space. And if, if you just run out of food, like, 
you're just sitting there and you're at the mercy of the uh of the merchants or walmart you gotta go over to walmart to buy wheat so you can make your own bread like jam to make all this jam because our our level's low so i know because it's under level 14 because i think 14 is kind of that cutoff level for the quest to uh to finish it off so it's like 14 to 16 i believe so we're gonna craft these up. That shouldn't be enough to finish off our quest for crafting jams, which is fine. I'll put that there. I wanna hold on, look at all of these cauliflowers. I wanna hold off on potatoes because I want more stew. I've only got 14 stew, but I also only have some of these as well. So, you know what, why don't we do this first batch here just to clear up some room. I'll get rid of the sperry over here, get rid of that assy. And maybe we'll get rid of some of the arties as well. Just do that up. That'll clear up a little bit more space. Look, we're at 820. Ugh. I only have 100 free slots. And granted, in raw materials, I'm sitting at like just over 80 plus a couple seeds. And then in processed goods, just for food, I've got easily a hundo just sitting there doing nothing. Probably closer to like 130-ish. And then obviously we've got our stock of normal goodies as well, plus all the new items we bought. But I want to be able to have all this going at any given time, honestly. Now, is anything else close to 70? Not even close. Wow, to get these up is going to be expensive. All right, let's make some Batman cloaks. I'll make 10 of them. Looking good. We've got a ton of stock. Now, I made a bunch of shoes because... <laughs> A tournament is being held nearby. More customers will show up. Tools higher in demand and prices of them are up. Swords become super valuable. Well, that's not what we're dealing with here, people. So you're going to have to move along. Uh, yeah, like I was saying. So I'm going to be working towards getting shoes towards one of my next level 70s. Like, God, that just looks so awful when the bloom hits. It's, is there something more in my settings for that? Like, no, I've got like everything maxed out. Like I put all this stuff back. I mean, whatever. Nothing more I can really do about it. It's fine. It's just a little, like you would think like if the game looks so nice, I would have thought they did like something different would have been done with the snow, but it just kind of like changes everything to a white color, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Everything is fine. God, look how ugly those look in the in the winter oh winter's awful i hate winter let me know in the comments below if you hate or love winter all right meat's expensive but i'm taking it all uh potatoes i mean there's three of them i really don't give a shit about three all right um i'm gonna take all 12 of those seeds oh my god they're freaking legendary Sheesh. all right that's oh my god i was not expecting that that was freaking amazing i was just gonna take them no matter what they were no matter the price even i need cheese we need the cheese cut it out all right and we're gonna grab those and chamomile do i care about the beanies no asparagus super cheap apples are cheap for the legendaries might as well just snag a few and actually i don't really need those actually they're super cheap anyway so whatever and the rest See you later. That was a thousand shillings. Expensive. Not, I'm not looking forward to moving this at all. Not at all. This looks like a rice field from a distance. I kind of wish I could grow rice now. Don't worry, we can still move around the Amazon workplace. This is OSHA friendly. Don't worry about this corner though. Okay, it's intentional. And I was checking out the stats. At level 26, I'll unlock the next wall. So that's when we can get our appeal to the max, I'm assuming, which will be 30. Manly apron outfit unlocked. Oh, hello, Mr. Taylor boy. Winter sales complete. Beanies, collies, cloggies, dressy oh, dresses. Well, uh, leather is not cheap, but I'm going to grab them. Might as well grab those at the same price. Linen, yup. Oh my god. I'm almost maxed out again. Ah, oh, shit. I am maxed out. 
Look at that. Completely maxed. It's freaking maddening. I can't even believe it. So I'm going to have to put in uh, probably three more pallets. Maybe only two. I'm not sure if that'll how that'll fit. And then I'll put one more here, perhaps. And then maybe some shelving along the sides will give me a little bit more. And then that'll top up our warehouse for the time being. And that should be good to really keep us going hard. It's just... Uh, it's expensive. Oh, I can top these off. Hold on. Legendary Brotados. Legendary Brotados. And Legendary Brotados. I want to try and get this before the day ends. Okay, I can't water them. That's a shame. Alright, these guys are good. You can go home. But yeah, everybody, if you're loving Winkle J and this takedown Amazon effort... You hit that like button down below if you're new here. I don't even know what you're still doing this far into the series without hitting that subscribe button. You must have clearly forgotten, so double check and hit that subscribe button as well while you're down there. And also, leave me comments if you guys are still playing as well. Let me know how your runs are going. We obviously know how mine's going. I am overloaded because I'm a fool. I'm going to go craft some stuff. Made a bunch of shoes again. We're not quite 70 yet. I think we're like 60 something. I'll have to double check. Not too sure. But I wanted to come over here. We tended to our garden. Now we're just making some roasts. And I got the key I got the cheese. So now we can make quiche. I don't need to use the good stuff here. Um, actually, I'm gonna just use the cauliflower. And I've only got eight cheese, so that's just what we'll use. So now we're getting our quiche adventure started as well, which is fantastic. And then I'm going to get the rest of my uh, wheaties here turned into some buns. Because we're low on buns. And now, look at our stocks here. So we're looking pretty decent, honestly. Looking really good. We just need to save up some cash money. And then we can really start getting on our food adventure here. So, like I was saying, so building this pa path here. Look at 447 for one. So, I want to build out one. So, this is probably the plan, right? Like, one, two, three, four, five. But without taking out that wall there. Something like that, perhaps? Actually, maybe even something like this. No, because I can't... It looks kind of goofy. I might even just do something like that. So that it kind of looks like this is here and I might move this down a bit more. So that way we have a nice pavilion here. And then I'll figure out what kind of uh, shop stalls I want to use. And I'll show you, except no, yep, undo it all. Let me see if I even have them. I don't have them yet. Oh my. So what I do want to use, let me go to unlocks and go to, it might be a year two thing these ones maybe it's like a level 26 thing it's this cart right here so i want to get these carts so they're level 27 and they're perfect because they got like a nice little red cloth on them it's a cart so it literally looks like it belongs outside so that's the whole intent so at 27 is when we can actually start this so i've got two levels to farm some gold put these carts down like look a market stall that's actually new i don't remember market stalls being in here so we'll probably use carts temporarily, but then at 29, we're going to put some freaking market stalls down. That's awesome. Maybe a couple of both, so that way it looks like a real open bazaar, and it's going to be a food bazaar. And maybe we do that style across the whole play, but I don't really think I want to do that. I kind of want to keep like an industrialized clothy air shop here, where on the side, we'll do a nice... um food boutique of sorts and then potentially in the back when we get like really freaking rich if this series lasts long enough maybe back here we'll add a secondary shop for maybe an apothecary or even a forge and then we'll sell those items back there as well and then we would use other grounds for more farming if we went the apothecary route to get all our herbs down etc so We've got plenty of space. We got a lot of potential. It just depends what you want to see. Like once we beat this, is that what you want to see? Or do you want to see us immediately go into the insane mode, the hardest mode possible and see if we can beat that. 
Leave me a comment down below. Hit the like while you're there, letting me know what you're all thinking. And as usual, we're going to wrap this one up here because we got a lot done. We'll start this next day off with a bang. So, all right, brothers and sisters, as usual, this has been Shabby Doom. The rest of your day is not too shabby.